By the beginning of the Carboniferous period, the tetrapods had evolved into the first amniotes. Amniotes is the group which includes reptiles, birds, and mammals. These amniotes were better adapted to land than had been the first tetrapods. Their skeletal systems were better adapted to land. Their limb bones and their limb girdles were stronger and allowed better locomotion on land. The elements of their backbone, their vertebral column, had solidified, and this was an adaptation to bearing their weight on land. The respiratory system had been modified. The intercostal muscles between the ribs and the ribs which now contacted the breastbone or sternum allowed for better breathing, so thus breathing would not have to occur through the skin, and uh, these land vertebrates could take in oxygen better on land. Now that the skin was no longer required for respiration, it could develop uh, protection uh, from water loss and thus allow these amniotes to adapt to a drier climate. Their uh, reproductive systems were no longer tied to water, so the amniotes evolved a penis in males, which allowed reproduction uh, on land, given that now uh, fertilization was internal rather than external. The uh, skull had been modified, and amniote skulls evolved a number of changes, such as solidification of the occipital area, uh, which was more advanced than in the first uh, tetrapods. By the middle of the Carboniferous period, a group of amniotes had evolved known as the synapsids. Now today, the only synapsids alive are the mammals, but by the middle of the Carboniferous period, there were no mammals, but there were a group of mammal-like reptiles known as pelicosaurs. These were reptiles, but they were beginning to show features which only mammals possess today. So they were developing canine teeth and modifications of cheek teeth for chewing. They uh, were developing a larger brain, although it was still much smaller than in uh, mammals. Many showed uh, a dependence on regulating their body temperature with the prominent sails that they possessed on their backs. They were modifying their lower jaws, etc. So that these uh, pelicosaurs, uh, beginning with the development of a synapse at opening in the skull for uh, cheek uh, muscles uh, to attach to the lower jaw, these mammal-like reptiles were beginning to show the first uh, adaptations in becoming mammals.